And we are back with another vault day. Week four, I believe. Vault item number three. Right? I think. Anyways, I already took a peek during my lunch hour at work. And I gotta say, I wasn't too impressed. Uh, let's see, for the raid, my heroic row, I got the Wellspring wristlets. Uh, we have the inflammable drape leaf. So that's already out the window. Crit and versatility. Uh, we also have twisted flame cuffs, which is not bad because it has mastering critical strike. And moving on to our dungeons. So I was able to complete two. Let's see here. We got mythic, two mythic items. So we have the Timeways Intruders Greaves. Crit, Versatility, and Leech. And we have the Blazing Dream Stalker's Finest Hunt. And this is giving us uh, the Mythic Shoulders for our tier set. And the Cloak of Fading Echoes. So I believe I have... Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to take the Cloak. Any of the Cloaks, nor am I going to take the wrist because... The wrists I have are 476, they're uh, the Adaptive Dracothist Arm Guards, and I'm going to be upgrading those either today with the Spark Dream, Spark of Dreams, or the Signet of Titanic Insight, which I could um, upgrade as well. So, uh, my shoulders are only 476 maxed out. I did have other shoulders that I got from a heroic heroic run last week. And my plan was to convert these and get them up a little higher. But since we already have uh, 480 shoulders here. And we just have to do a couple of upgrades. This will be nice to have. And we don't have this, uh, this color shoulders yet. Look at that. Damn, that looks good. Wow, it actually matches my transmog, my current transmog. Damn, that looks good. So we're winning. We got the transmog, and we're going to get upgraded shoulders. So this is nice. This is great. Uh, I was not going to think about or considering any of these other items. Um, even the legs were like... Yeah, I would have to wait to use the legs later to convert them, which was the plan. Uh, and the leech would have carried over, but that's fine. We're going to rock the shoulders and just go from there. I'm very excited to put these babies on because they look so good. Man, that's nice. That's really nice. And I've gotten every single color. I'm a big shoulders kind of guy, so... Yeah. Now we're going to take a look at what it's going to cost us to upgrade these shoulders because... Sorry for the lag. Veldraken is always, uh, is always freaking laggy. But let's take a look at what's going to take to upgrade these. And I'm sure I'm going to have to, yep, I need another 15 of the Aspects Dreaming Crest, which will be easy. I have enough Flight Stones to completely upgrade this. And that will take us all the way up to 489. That is insane. But let's take a look at these two upgrades for now see what that where that puts us all right cool so we're gonna hit 478 soon but yeah 486 shoulders that is pretty sick pretty happy about that still quite a few pieces that are champion and we'll have to do some kind of upgrades but next week if i don't get anything uh for like legs or chest i do have Yep, I do have a hero uh, chest, which I can uh, convert and bring that up to 483 along with legs. So if I don't get anything through the heroic run this week, I will be doing the change to make sure that these pieces are, are continuing to get upgraded. So um, I'm glad I took that weapon that first week, 483 weapon, because I have not been lucky with any type of weapons at all it's been terrible terrible rng with the weapons um stuck with veteran stuff and i haven't seen anything drop for me so it was a good decision to take the uh the bow 
and also your pet's power does scale with your um, your weapon power so that is good and then last week I got Pip's Emerald Friendship Badge that's pretty nice that was very nice so I had that one this one and now the shoulders the shoulders look so sick uh, let's take a look at the shoulders. So, yeah, I got, like, every color. Look at that. That's crazy. I'm not sure why there's, like, two different ones. Oh, okay. All right. So, I get... All right. Nice. So, that thing did work, I guess. Because you can get, like, this item if you get, like, Mythic Kill Firak or Glad. Or getting a mythic keystone hero which will give you this item uh, this dreambound item to like get, uh, give you extra extra little I guess a little bit of a a little bit of a like spark to your transmog for your headpiece and for the shoulders so without it you would be looking at this but with it you'll have the extra glow from the eyes and the uh, the horns there. So yeah, I did get it on all of the items. That is pretty cool. Wow, that's that's really nice. So yeah, you can see the the um, the extra effects. Now I'm not sure why this one's not working. But yeah, I'm gonna be rocking the um, the purple ones for sure. Now let's check out the headpiece. I don't think we'll be seeing that soon I think I have to unlock a few more pieces but yeah we're almost getting done with the mythic set here uh, let's look at the heroic set super bad it's probably the worst color out of them all <clears throat> and then there's normal and I'm slowly currently working on raider raid finder so we'll see how that goes this week but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.